Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's the last day of the Gumball 3000 Middle East, the final leg, and what a leg it's going to be. Today, we're going to be saying bye-bye, goodbye to the Manhart TR900. You can see Gumball cars are plenty pulling in here, including the SV, including the Chiron, in Sharjah. This is the home of Team Habibis. Now, my first ever Gumball back in 2012 was joining Team Habibis. In fact, one of the cars is actually right up there. We're at the Sharjah Golf and Shooting Club here. Lots of gumballers have been having some fun over there because they've basically given us permission to donut away. So gumballers shredding up tires seems to be the order of the day to start. We've set off this morning from Ras Al Khaimah. We're here in Sharjah. We're heading next to Dubai, I think to the Dubai Autodrome. No, we've got to stop at some stables before that. And then we're heading later to the finish line in Abu Dhabi at Yas Marina at the F1 circuit. It's gonna be a good day ahead. Let's do this. Let's talk all about the Manhart. Let's enjoy Gumball 3000, the final leg of the 2022 23rd annual rally. Well, the STO had some fun, but imagine if the Devo did it. Four-wheel Devo donuts would just be beyond words. That would be unbelievably epic. Anyway, the Devo comes in to line up. All the Gumball cars, of course, have completed many thousands of miles. The purple team, our car that we were enjoying an awful lot. So the Vantage F1 just here, the STO, Bentega coming in, a couple of car changes along the way. Chiron just in front. This GT3 RS had a little bit of fun smoking up the rear tires as well. We have our grid leader, Team 22, that started the whole thing at the very front. Cars over from the UK, cars from everywhere, cars from the UK, cars from New York, cars from Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Dubai, Oman, all over. Well, it's cool to see this again, a proper blast from the past. It was back in 2012 that I joined Team Habibis with this car, two Rolls-Royce Ghosts and also a GL support car for what was my first Gumball 3000. This livery was actually from the 2017 rally that they did, Riga to Mykonos. Unfortunately, I couldn't join that one, but it was with Team Habibis, Shake Mo and the team, that I experienced my first Gumball, the first of now eight. And I have a distinct memory of standing at the side of the road with this car, for a very long time. We were in New Mexico and it had a flat tire and we had to wait for a flatbed and it was like three or four hours to get one that could take a car as big and wide as a Phantom, as you can probably imagine. So yes, it was probably about this hot back then, but hours and hours and hours in the desert in New Mexico with this car. Kind of crazy to see it now. Anyway, I think we're gonna head inside. Max pulls up with the Ferrari Roma, Team 7, Mr. Gumball. Imagine if we could get some Aventador donuts, that'd be cool. Probably not this time. Team 70 with the classic Corvette has replaced their Mulsanne. I might be. Wow. <laughs> I am in luck. <laughs> <laughs> Is the cover we're going to have like simultaneous? <laughs> they gave it some earlier. Let's see if they do it again. Flat out across the car park. Oh, STO off as well. With this lineup, the wing game, it's very strong. 765 GT Black Series, Aventador SV, the Chiron wing is up as well. Then we have the N Attack Nismo, and then the Devo, all with massive spoilers. As I said, wing game strong. Bye bye. See you in a bit. These two cars are both over from France. 765 in the GT Black Series. Out they go. You know it's go time when the Devo rolls out onto our next stop, the lunch checkpoint for today. Look at that thing as it drives. And behind me was the sound of the Aston Martin starting. So let's hop on board and get this journey underway. The good thing is that it's only about half an hour to our next checkpoint. AC, come on, we need it. We need some cool air. Right, exhaust on. Let's go. Let's go find a group of cars to drive with. Ah, the N-Attack guys are leaving. So's that 488. 
we're in luck. We've got ourselves a little bit of a crew to drive with, Team Aztec. After you, gentlemen. Fun. Off we go. We're quickly arriving then at our next checkpoint, back here in Dubai, Burj Khalifa up over that way, but I believe at the Royal Stables as guests of the Royal Family here in Dubai, which is really quite special. And um, we should be there just around the corner ahead of us. These are going to be the horses of the daughter of the Prince of Dubai, I believe, as we come through here. Very conscious that we're right alongside a wall, but we're being driven, I see. They are literally with horses in the area in front of us. They've asked us to keep the revs down, hence the exhaust valve is closed. The cars are parking out there. Look at this with the view around us and the skyscrapers. Oh, that's fun, look. Are the horses gonna give us a procession into the field? That's what this feels like. It's about to happen. They have instructed us to be very delicate across the grass and not to rev to disturb the horses. No full lock because it's soft grass and they don't want us to shred it up. So we'll follow the horses. <laughs> it's kind of fun. We go between the horses to park next to two horses, two prancing horses. The Chiron is coming through many horses, one and a half thousand horses in fact. This is nice. All the car's parked up here beside the fountain being guided in in style and to the rest be following. It's rollout time. So Wraith, Chiron, yellow Aventador. Oh, SV as well hiding behind there. Carefully does it across the grass. Hopefully we haven't made too much of a mess. Oh, the 812 GTS, the Vantage F1, but little change in plans with what we're actually gonna do right now for the next 30 minutes from here to the Dubai Autodrome before it's track day time. And that plan is this, the Manhart TR800 based on the Turbo S so that we can get some photos of the two Manhart cars together on this leg of the rally. Although, are we all together? Yes, we are all together. I was just checking that they could put out because there's a whole basically stream of cars following us. But the Manhart Turbo S and the Manhart GT2 RS together on the highway, which is actually going to be really cool considering the line of cars that we've got in front of us as well. Nice little lunch, lunch stop there and on to the next one. As we arrive at the Autodrome, we have a bit of a pack of gumball cars together. Alongside me is the Manhart, but the other side of that, oh yes, <laughs> is the Bugatti Devo. We are driving up to the Autodrome with the Devo. How cool is that? Um, and a couple of others. There are also a few more cars behind us. Oh, that deep grumble as we go past, just the noise of that thing. Alrighty, last time I was at the Autodrome was with the AMG GT Black Series uh, for a Supercars Majlis event. And the Supercars Majlis guys are actually joining us today as well to be part of this afternoon's police escorts, parades and convoys onwards to the finish line. I feel like we're packing in all of the checkpoints today. Oh, my lane just disappears in front of me. We need the lift system with all of these bumps everywhere. Carefully does it. And make sure we find the right entrance, the correct entrance to the Dubai Autodrome. It can be a little bit confusing around here. Here we are then, the Dubai Autodrome. You can even see parts of the track just there. We have a fair few speed bumps and things on the way in. But this is where we should have even more awesome cars with us today. Ooh, watching the barrier going up, down. Please stay open, thank you. <laughs> Devo is right behind me. That's very cool to arrive at a racetrack, followed by a Bugatti Devo. Gumball cars are plenty. The Dubai Police supercars are back in action. We've got the SLS that we saw on the start line. We're also joined by the R8. What do we have there? An F8, I think, coming through. Yep, Ferrari F8 squeezing through. As well as the gumball cars, though, as I said, Supercars Majlis. And come and have a look at some of the cars here. You're probably already seeing what I'm seeing. Firstly, three yellow cars in a row. Shout out Solar Beam, but P1 and LaFerrari. P1 and LaFerrari together. Volcano Yellow, Giallo Triplo Strato. Actually, LaFerrari Aperta. You can see the target roof panel, carbon roof panel. Different mirrors as well, as I have mentioned before. Someone's alarm is 
pinging away, the RSQ8 over there, but plenty of other amazing cars. Check the carbon on that 720S. Ah, my friend Booz, 720 as well. SF90, SF Fiorano, Pista. There are a lot of very nice cars here. Loads of Porsches around. Same over this side. If we come around, what else do we have? Just picking out some things. Novatec F12, full and Largo. SF90, come through here. STO and a similar color scheme to mine. Let's come through and have a look at that. Viola Pacife with the yellow accents on this one, as opposed to the Viola Bast that I had on mine. We actually saw this car uh, on an earlier trip out here, actually, to Dubai. In fact, when I was at the Autodrome with my GT Black Series. That's crazy to think, isn't it, that my car was here in this paddock um, at the start of this year, end of last year, for a few events. Look at this lineup of cars. Right, let's head inside, work out what's what, and see where the day is going to take us. Pit lane is open. Gumballers are go, go, go. It is track time. The G3 RS with the mixed wheel colors. Whole load of cars coming out. I'm heading up to the pit wall. The siren is just to announce that the cars are in the pit lane. Advantage F1. You can see the uh, natural Porsche bias of any track day. 9912 GT3 RS, 992 GT3. I like the blue accent details on this one. The side stripes and the end plates. What else is following? We've got a Ferrari 458. This is Supercars Magellus and Gumball 3000 together. 991 GT3. Okay, that noise was the drift car revving in that pit garage. Ooh, Aventador SVJ. It's my friend's car. That's going to sound incredible when it goes down the start straight. Look at this. Listen to it. 765 LT Spider. Hurricane. I've always thought Hurricanes in red look nice. A Pentador sound nuts. Hurricane, Audi R8. This one, a whole new line of cars in the first turbo has gone round already. Which means I need to go and find a place where we can see some stuff. So let me come through and see what we can find through the uh, fence down this way. <laughs> Squeeze through. Uh, sights and sounds of the racetrack. That's sweet. I think all the windows have gone. <laughs> Everybody's going as far down as they can. The quicker I go, the quicker I'll find an empty gap. shriek and scream of the 812's V12 and nothing like the sound of this. <laughs> He's coming by the pit wall. This is going to be loud, really loud. <laughs> Mamma mia. That SV. <laughs> Time. The LaFerrari Aperta is up front. We're all hopping into our cars. Supercars Magellus team and all of the gumballers for the parade lap of the Dubai Police before the last drive, the final stretch. Well, I say the final stretch. We've got one more little checkpoint at the Dubai Expo. And then from there, it's over to Abu Dhabi to the finish line. Everybody gearing up. Engine starting to go find where did I put my car? I can't even remember somewhere through this chaotic mess of supercars. Uh, squeeze through, safely does it. Where there's a will, there's a way. Here we go. 
we're being sneaky here. <laughs> Found a way through, I think. Not sure if that Maserati is moving. This is all the like chaos heading out for the parade lap. We've got the Novatec F12. We've got Mr. Gumball, Max. We've got DDE. Are we following DDE around? That's funny. We're right beside the DDE boys. There's a whole lot of organized chaos here, but it's good chaos when the Devo's in town. I wonder if we're gonna end up by the Devo. Maybe we just kind of skip around and go with the flow and see what happens here. How about that for a view around the corner? You can see the Laffa Perta up front, the bright, distinct green of Team Skookum. Yep, let's maybe not run over quite such aggressive curbs as we make our way around. This is just carnage, to be honest. This is organized chaos. Like, there must be 150 cars or something in this parade now. I don't really know. Well, this is fun. Let a few cars go past. <laughs> Sneak back into the line, change of scenery. Whole load of Ferraris in front. This is very much parade type speed. This is the club circuit, actually. This is what we drove with the GT Black Series. With one of those. I drove my one of those right on this track, which is ridiculous to think about. These bangs are just funny. Cool view behind with the cars coming up the hill as we stick tight to the apex through the uh, chicane here. And then it kind of opens up a bit. Well, that's one way to do it, to swing out your BMX from the SVR. <laughs> I love it, <laughs> absolutely love it. Well, that's kind of fun. A G-Wagon being tested. Is that a facelift G63? Could be. Makes sense to come out here for hot weather testing. Laugh is just parked up in there. But um, we'll follow the line of cars out. About five ahead of us, we have DDE and we have um, the Chiron. But we shall go this way. That was a nice Ferrari F12. Light blue with gold wheels. I'm sure I've seen that car before. Um, there's been a whole lot of revving in the tunnel here. That sounds like a Lambo. We're probably about to have that Range Rover. I don't even know. That was definitely the 488 there. That's the Hurricane in front of us. So I named the cars from the revving. Go. <laughs> I think just about everyone is lost trying to find the finish line. We're in a small pack of cars. Hurricane, Urus way out ahead, 812 and GT3 RS over my shoulder, but some cars went straight, including the Urus over there. Mine's telling me to go right at the fork here, but they look like they're going left. No, no, they've gone right, good. <laughs> I don't even have a clue. We're trying to find a location at the Expo 2020 site. Um, and there's a Conti GT between, behind us now. So look, this Urus that's on the left side. I, I just have no idea. None of us have any idea. We're just rolling with it at this stage. And hopefully we find, it's not the finish line, but the Dubai kind of temporary finish line. Well, we found some of the cars. We've got this kind of switchback bit. This is actually really cool with cars arriving towards us. flying down. That's awesome, watching everything arrive. Well, it feels a little bit like we're kind of driving around in circles around the Expo 2020 site at the moment in the convoy of cars. But I tell you what, this exhaust is getting super crackly as we go under the bridge here. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing, but hey. This thing is hitting all of the pops and bangs now. This is cool at the arrival of Expo City. Look at that, the Gumball 3000 logos. That's really nice. Gumball does so much of that stuff. 
that when you arrive in places, like all the banners and decoration and everything just makes it so much about the atmosphere and vibe. It's totally unique. There's nothing that goes so far. We've regrouped with the SLS and R8 police cars. They're basically sending us through. Oh, this is kind of cool to the right, where we are right now. But um, we're being sent this way. Oh, check that out. What an arrival here in Dubai. Expo City. Wow, look at this. Look at this. We're coming in for a bit of a show, I believe. Um, gonna head on in. We have had a whole lot of revving and craziness, but it is time to go. Let me take a seat inside here. Let's roll out. We're making some progress. It's been quite a long queue to exit from here. But look at this. Hey. We're finally heading out. Dubai Expo Exhibition Center for the last hour, the last drive. <laughs> Gunshots. Lift off at 4,000 RPM and that happens. Then the road opens, it's private for us. But I hope there are no random Dubai style speed bumps anywhere. Like this. <laughs> we can get over that, but slow and steady, and then go. One of the funny things while we do this, and past various cars and whatever else is happening here, is that I noticed on the drive up Jebel Jace in Ras Alkheimer how it doesn't really look that fast because this car is not particularly loud. You know, it's a twin turbocharged, very high powered car. It's just a little bit muted apart from the cracks and pops and bangs and stuff, which means you don't get the sense that it's accelerating anywhere nearly as fast as what you're actually doing. So on the video of driving up Jebel Jace, I know to some of you guys, you think that like, I'm not even driving. <laughs> I'm not even driving when it's foot flat, full throttle, 900 plus horsepower up to 120, 130 miles an hour, you know, 200 kilometers an hour. Anyway, got to work out where exactly we're going for this final leg and uh, get towards Abu Dhabi, Yas Marina, ready for the F1. Check this out. There is the W Hotel in the center of Yas Marina, the F1 circuit where I had an epic time with the GT Black Series. Now, something I can tell you about this tunnel is Abu Dhabi changed a year or two ago that the speed limit is that number. Normally, if you know Dubai, the Dubai speed limit is actually 20, or at least where the cameras flash you is 20 over what the posted limit are, is. They actually even have signs that tell you the speed limit is 20 over, it's very confusing. But here, it's 60. So in Yas Tunnel, where we are right now, 60 means 60. Wait, that's confusing. Look, on the, on the right it says 60, and on the left it says 80. I guess no one here even knows. Not, we're going 10. So it doesn't matter either, either way. Okay, that's really confusing to have different speed limits on different sides of the road. Like I get it if it was over the lane. Anyway, got a bit of traffic up ahead. We stopped for a fuel stop, so we're way behind everybody. But we only have about 600 meters to go to the hotel where it is finish line time, which is kind of cool. Even though we've not done the full rally, the only thing about the finish line or what happens next is that we have to say bye bye to this car. We have to give it back. We have to hand it back over to Manhart Middle East. About, I'm trying to think what it was on. Are we about seven or 800 kilometers later? That kind of thing. It's been an amazing car to drive. Obviously, enjoyed a lot at Jebel Chase and on the roads. And just cool to talk to people about what this is. You know, 945 horsepower GT2 RS. It's an absolute weapon. Let's hope this doesn't take us too long and we can get towards the actual finish line. That's a view and a half as we come up over the bridge. So I have joined supercar events here in the past, but now we are back. This is so cool, actually, especially knowing that I've driven around there and that the F1 is about to be driving around there. What a place to end this adventure. What a place to be. As we head around here, I'm not entirely sure what's going on the car in front of us. We're just sitting in the middle of the lane, blocking oncoming traffic. But we head round, in and amongst the chaos of it all, 
and we'll get told where we park and what we do. I don't entirely know right now. Going with the flow. Completely. I don't know if there's like a finish line or if there's like a, a thing or if it's kind of just the end that we're here and that's that. But we'll know in a minute or two, I guess. Well, we've just driven under the gantry, but we had a bit of a sticker war going on with Aztec. So every time we shuffle forward, I had to jump out and stick a sticker on them. We're now, this is kind of the finish. We'll call this the finish uh, with the Gumball DJs as we're going to cross the line. Yeah, here we are. This is the end. This is our end. Shmi, welcome to Abu Dhabi. How are you feeling, my friend? It's good, it's good to be here. What a day, we've had loads of checkpoints, loads of cool places, but yeah, we're here at the end. Another great Gumball 3000. We here we go, we're here. <laughs> now the music starts, or an event still revs, so you can't hear me anyway, but we're here. Nice to see you again. <laughs> at the start in Toronto, at the start in Dubai. Sid, Good effort. How are you? How's it going? Good. <laughs> you have no idea of the chaos here to get through. It's mayhem. It's hilarious mayhem. All of the cars. Everybody obviously has to be unloaded and then valeted down to the garage. But I'm actually going to just take this down myself because of the chaos right now. So we've uh, gone a roundabout way so that we can squish through now. Some of the cars are up front. Devo's over there. I can just about make out. The Urus is going around. Oh, is that a lichen? Yeah, there's a sticking up lichen just over there. That's cool. Okay, we go around this way. Well, there we have it. We are parked up in Abu Dhabi. The end of the 23rd Gumball 3000. Gumball 3000 Middle East. My eighth Gumball Rally. It's been over a decade since the first one and yes, we only drove half of this rally for various complicated reasons, as I spoke about earlier, with all of the travel and the build-up being in the US, at SEMA, dropping off my car, flying to London, collecting my last Gumball car, the GT500, when that arrived in the UK, then flying here on the registration day, doing all of that, getting started, and the long legs through Oman were going to be a little too much for personal exhaustion. I'm not going to lie, but we have enjoyed the three out of the six driving days that we've taken part in, half of the rally, if you will. But having been at the start and being at the end, being with everybody, following everything, it feels like having been part of the Gumball spirit and driving in the Manhart TR900. Now, I've often spoken about being a big fan of Porsche GT products. I've owned a 901.2 GT3, a 981 GT4, a 718 GT4. I'd love a 718 GT4 RS, but they're a difficult brand sometimes. They're a difficult brand in terms of allocating cars, preferring, I believe, customers who will sell them as opposed to customers who want to drive them. Long story to discuss another day. But to drive this, the GT2 RS, it is the granddaddy of the 911 family. It is the supercar of the 911 family. And when you take the Manhart modifications and give it even more power, as we discovered at Jebel Jace, give it all of the exterior carbon, give it even more of a soundtrack, what an absolute weapon. It's such a dependable car, it's a reliable car. You know, temps stay completely in check, even in 40 degree temperatures when we're just sitting in traffic jams, which out here is pretty intense on these kind of things, believe me. And certainly some of the European cars, the more boutique European cars struggle with that. But we've enjoyed it an awful lot. So I want to say a huge thanks to Manhart, Manhart Middle East, for providing this particular car for the opportunity to drive it for the days of the rally we've taken part. Team 150 has been back in action for this adventure in the UAE. And you never know, with next year's rally running from Edinburgh down to Porto Montenegro, we might be seeing a little bit more. Who knows at this stage? Wait and see on that one. What an end to the rally though. But sadly time now to say bye bye, to say farewell to this, to go and hand back the keys, the keys to a very fun ride that we've experienced. Although one thing I spoke about but never showed you is that in the front here, and this is why luggage wise, there's a wheel. There's a wheel rather than suitcases, so that changes things. That changes what you can do with it. So you certainly can't drive around with your suitcases if you've got that in front. But yeah, farewell GT2 RS. Thank you, Manhart. This has been mega. And thank you as always to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed my coverage of the rally from the start, all the registration, the car setting off, the first day, day five, day six. We're here at the end. What a journey. Gumball 3000, as ever, has been epic. That's it for this time though. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Cheers.